Hey, what's up, folks? In this project, we're making an animatronic toy inspired by Star Wars. We designed and 3D printed a toy droid inspired by Lola 59 from Star Wars Kenobi. All of the electronics are packed into the 3D printed body and feature magnets so we can rest on our shoulder with a ferrous metal band. We're using powerful neodymium magnets so it can hang out and stick to metal surfaces. It's powered by the Adafruit Itsy Bitsy RP2040 running circuit python. Head over to circuitpython.org and download the latest firmware for your dev board. You can download the UF2 and drag and drop to automatically install the firmware. Be sure to check out the guide on the Adafruit Learning System for a full tutorial on building this project. With CircuitPython, your dev board shows up like a USB flash drive where you can store assets like audio files, images, your code, and libraries. The code for this project was written by Philip Burgess and can be customized to work with other builds. The servo-controlled wings feature randomized movements and the NeoPixel LEDs animate and change colors. We think this makes CircuitPython the best platform for cosplay props and droids alike. Get the parts to build this project by checking out the links in the description of this video. 3D print the parts in your favorite filament and then paint or finish the surfaces. The Itsy Bitsy is wired up to a LiPo backpack so you can recharge the battery over USB. Strips of header pins are soldered to the wires and insulated using Kapton tape. A magnetic plate press fits into the recess on the bottom of the droid. The PCBs can then be press fitted into the built-in clips over the magnetic plate. The two servos are secured with machine screws and the cables are fitted through the cutouts and pulled through the other side. The battery rests on top of the dev board and plugs into the LiPo backpack. With the main parts installed, the cables can then be connected with the two mounting plates snap fitting together. A slide switch is accessible on the other side so you can turn the circuit on and off. The 3D printed servo horns are positioned to avoid clipping and moving in the wrong direction. We brushed on metallic paint for the red color on the main upper body and wings. Metal wire or a paper clip can be used as the pin to create the hinge for the two wings and tail. Use flush snips to trim pieces of metal wire and insert them through the holes in the hinges. Then use needle nose pliers to bend the ends to keep them in place so they won't slip out. The antenna is installed using the same process with a piece of metal wire from a paper clip. Wire up the NeoPixels to some header pins and install them into the two sockets so the wires can be connected together on the other side. With all the electronics connected, the body can then be snap fitted together. The domes are printed in translucent filament and snap fit into the sockets. And that's it! We had a lot of fun bringing our droid to Star Wars Galaxy's Edge over at Hollywood Studios and hope this inspires you to check out Adafruit CircuitPython for your next project. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe for more projects from Adafruit.